Hi all, in this video, I am going to be highlight here recent updates about the Google Meet. The Google Meet, now they incorporate the, the third party tool of Miro. The Miro is a visual collaboration platform or look like a whiteboard tools. We can e easily incorporate this kind of Miro whiteboard tools in our Google Meet. Let I am going to be explain how we can e use this kind of Miro whiteboard while using your Google Meet. So for this, first we have to go to our Google Meet screen. So once you join the Google Meet or when you start a meeting in the Google Meet, so we have to be see the right corner. In the right corner, we have the different features like this was show everyone apps. Then the second one is a chat with everyone. The next is an activities. So once you click the activities, we can find out the different activities uh, which the Google Meets provide to us. One is the whiteboard that is called Google Jamboard whiteboard. That's we already know. The other one is called, uh, uh, other one is called Robot Geek. So this is like a, a games. So if you like to play uh, during our meeting, we can play the robot. But now I'm going to talking about the Myra app. This is an add-on software. The recently the Google Meet incorporating the third-party tools. Uh, it is offered by the Google Meet itself. So this is a tool. It looks like a, uh, the features having the whiteboard features. We have to create a different whiteboards, even the mind map, or if you like to create some kind of content map, we can use this kind of Myra app. Let I'm going to explain how we can connect this Myra app while using this kind of Google Meet. There is no need for the separate installation process while using this kind of Google Meet. So what I'm going to do, just I'm clicking the Myro. Once I click the Myro, it asking to be go for a login. So for example, I'm already logged in. Suppose I want to log it, I can log out. So suppose as a first time user, how to log in. So you have to go to the sign in. If you go to the sign in, it asking to sign with a different uh, views. There is an option called Google or in a different mode they given to be sign in. Suppose you don't have account, you have to sign up. So I am already having the account. Therefore, I am going to the sign in with the Google. Once I go with the sign in with the Google, it asking to which mail ID I like to be sign in. I can just click this mail ID. So once I click this mail ID, it leaves the the home page as Myro. So now I reach the Myro. Now you can see. Uh, in this pop-up window, the right screen screen of the activities, we can find out the Miro uh, pop-up window. There, if you like to create a new board, I can click the new board. It asking the name of the whiteboard. Just like I'm giving the demo whiteboard. So I'm giving the name as a demo whiteboard. This was some other settings available. Anyone can edit. Suppose if you like to give the option to anyone can edit, you can go with the anyone can edit. And anyone can view, we can give this option. If you like to keep as a private mode, you can give this private mode. So like this different views are different options are there. Suppose I like to go with the anyone can edit option. I can click here. Once I click here, it asking uh, sometime if you are not logging probably asking to log in. I always directly go to the, the particular uh, Miro app. So now I am reaching the Miro. So now I am reaching the Miro, the directly web tools. Now we can see, we can easily to control the Google Meet directly from here. Now the left side you are seeing the Miro, the right side you are seeing the Google Meet. In the Google Meet, uh, there is a uh, turn on microphone, there is a turn on camera. So if I like to turn on a camera, I can turn on a camera. We can easily to turn on a camera directly from here. This for the share screen. Suppose I like to present this, can share the screen of Miro, I can share the screen directly from here. These are the other options like uh, some of the features like uh, captions, and report views, all the things is available uh, in the Myro itself. It seems that the Myro is to be directly incorporated into the Google Meet. So in the pop-up side, in the right side, you are finding the Google Meet. In the left side, you are seeing the Myro screen. Suppose I like to draw the feature, draw the any kind of uh, diagrams. I can depends on this kind of text board or this kind of sticky notes or this kind of shapes. This is for the connection line. This is for the pen. This is the uh, comments. This is a frame, this is a upload. So like the different options are available. If you like to explore the more tools, I can find the more tools. Suppose I like to share the screen, I can use this share options. I hear there is a different share option. Suppose after finishing that, I want to share this whiteboard to anyone. I mean students, I can go with this kind of option. Even there is a different option called can edit or team access to board. There are different options out there. So kindly explore one by one. So like this, we have the different options uh, in the case of Myro. Compared to the Jamboard, the Myra have the different features and uh, different uh, features which you uh, help us to be uh, lead our classrooms in a very fruitful manner. Hopefully, this video might be useful for you. Suppose uh, if you like to um, what is the, leave this meeting in the Google Meet, there is no need to go with uh, once again to the Google Meet. Instead of that, in the Myro itself, uh, we have the options called uh, 
leave your call suppose you once you click the leave your call automatically the entire meeting is to be uh, end uh, suppose you are the participants you may believe this meeting suppose you're the host the entire meeting should be uh, end so like this we can control the entire thing from here so hopefully this videos might be useful for you so we will meet in the next video thank you bye